Okay, let's uh, develop the night. We're in the chill hour. This is a 15 minute and is it a 10 second? Yeah, I think it's 10 second. That's right. Just going to see if we're beard to pawn down. No, let's take the bishop. It's castle. Don't need to move this fast, obviously. Knight could attack the knight. Let's open up the bishop. Let's go for the slow process. Let's attack the knight. So what do we want to do here? We can do many things. Looks like a little bit. I'm going to take the knight just for a bit of fun. It's already there. Let's attack the bishop. Just jumps back again. Yep. Okay. So all that fought and they went back. <laughs> Right, so let's have a look. What is the position looking like? It's tempting to jump here, but it is easily defended. It's not really attacking anything meaty. does open up space for the queen, but there's nothing supporting. So you could work it backwards and put this pawn here to then get to here, to then get to there. But then it is doubling the pawns on the side. Not too great. I think the idea is to start pushing this pawn up here. But I think they're going to beat us to the punch. So this is going to be the power base. So if we did go there, they could still continue attacking the pawn down here. Or they could just attack the knight. And then we have to go back again. So there's no point doing that. So for a brief moment, sorry king, I'm just going to leave you alone for a bit. <clears throat> this will charge down straight away. Oh, it's not done. All right, so we can. We're going to take the knight off the board, so I don't know what I'm deliberating about. Um, if it was like a bullet match, boom, boom, it's straight off. But let's take a moment, because we could be championing this area here first, couldn't we? So if we did attack there, and they continued with this, then the pawn takes... <laughs> pawn takes, we take... I think we're going to push this pawn. I think our position looks better. We push. If they take, we take. Then he takes. Then we take. I think I'm happy with that. They'll have to show me if it's bad. Oh, it might be bad because of the bishop it's on this pawn. So they're going to be grabbing a pawn for free. So we might as well take this off the board with a check on the king. So after all that, we did the same move that we said we were going to do. Right, so if we hit this, then this bishop is taking this pawn for free. So let's work it backwards and just move the rook protecting the pawn. All right, so they're fairly confident about that. So we're going to hit the pawn now. With dealt with the potential threat from this um, Fianchetto Bishop they do take let's take with the Rook so that's where we saw up to after that depends what they do we're obviously looking maybe to come here don't really want to be opposite their Rook so that we can link up our Rook on this weak pawn so it's actually attacking the Queen so we might as well just be in the sorry attacking the Rook so we might as well attack the queen. And we're both moving a bit quick actually, you know. So, okay. So he's coming for the pawn here because if we are going to double up, as we said, knight could come here and just attack the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, can't be wrong. But also the queen then can come here with a check on our king. Is that what we want? Are we bothered too much about that? 
small piece attacking the high piece get ready to move the king I think so long as you're prepared for it it's like being accept accepting the risk but you've got mitigation action yeah same thing let's move it So our focal point, attempting to get this rook here. I mean, they've, they can obviously see it and then they can come and attack. And then they've got <clears throat> this back area here. So the bishop, smaller piece is attacking a higher piece. We can hide the rook here. He can just come back and attack it again. And we can hit his queen. So it's asking it what it wants to do. It can hide here and it can hide here. So we might be asking it to come a little bit further into our den. If we lock the pawn down, then at least it takes away the sting from the pawn pushing down. So I'm, I'm going to do that. Conscious that we might get back ranked if anything kicks off. So we might need to give the king a fly square. But we are looking for this simple attack here. So they're attacking our knight. So we could bring the rook here. And if the pawn does take the knight, then we can take the, um, take the pawn. It's not a checkmate, but it feels like oh, the queen can come here, but the rook is there. Right, okay, maybe move the knight. But moving the knight, you see how it's got the bishop here. It's got the queen there covering that area. It's got the pawn covering that area. It's pawn covering this area. Knight comes here. Pawn pushes down. Knight comes back again. All right, let's move the knight. Still trying to focus on this area here, but they're just keeping us busy at the moment. They've not even broken the 15 minute mark. <laughs> oh dear. So they're attacking us again, so he's still hitting this pawn. Have they run out of ideas or not? Um, so if we come back here and go onto a dark square, but am I blocking my queen? Oh, ho, ho. Come here. Blocking the queen. Pawn comes down. We come across. So it's not as bad. Okay, let's just bring it here. I think that's going to happen. It's not happening. It's attacking the knight. So we said we were going to come back here. So we've got the support of the pawn. They seem to be going backwards now, don't they? They're doing all the stuff that we have thought of now. They, they don't seem to be fervently advancing their attack, which is good. That's good for us. So we must be doing something right at this moment. They're drying it up. So we might get this potential for attacking the pawn, putting pressure towards the king area, get the queen involved as well, attacking along this rank here. So going to continue with that viewpoint. So that's the longer term strategical plan, which we said right at the very beginning of trying to put some pressure onto this pawn. Ah, uh, he's defending it now. Okay, so we could still bring the queen across here. Yes. But then his rook can just come and attack it anyway. So that might be a bit of a waste of a move. I don't want to waste the move. So I might have to change the plan then, seeing as they seem to have blocked that off. Or do we get here because we want, if they do push the pawn down, we can sneak in here with a check on the king. Whereas if they go there, then they're blocking us out of that picture. We're blocking this pawn. Pawn pushes, takes. Hmm. Are we looking for a queen exchange of sorts? I don't think we can at this moment. Nope. Knight can move here now, so it might be the strength of the knight, you know, but he's going to get this pawn. So, do we push up here? No, we don't, do we? Because the bishop's going to hit them. 
Hmm. Yeah, they still got a bit of a power base going on. We don't like it. We don't like it. So shall we give our king a flight square? Yeah, before we get back ranked. Let's do that first. This bishop's got potential here. So if we touch on, I mean, he's going to take, he's got his queen there as well. So he's got all the areas covered as far as I can see. We want to get our knight into the game. But we were going to do this, but we're not doing that anymore because the bishop's going to come here. And that takes away our 2 on 1 on this pawn. And I quite like this position, so I don't want to spoil it. What else can the knight do? I think they're going to power base these pawns out there somehow. Well, at least we've got them thinking for more than 10 seconds this time. Pawns down. So the queen could come here, put in a 2 on 1, but like we said, the rook can come across. And it kind of spoils that movement. There's got to be something in that. Queen here, rook comes across. Okay, we know the rook's coming across, but if it doesn't, then we can take the pawn. Let's just do it and see. Because they might not, and I might be overthinking it. They might not even be thinking about, oh, I'll get the rook here. They might not know that that's in danger. At least we can bring the rook queen back. Or we might be able to bring it to a different position. Maybe not onto a white square. So the rooks actually attacked. So we can take and attack the queen. Which I think is a good thing for us. But they may be risk averse. They can just go here or they can dance all the way across there. Anywhere. There, one, two, no, two spots. Well, that's interesting. They've only got two spots to go with the queen. So I think they'll take. Did you know we're actually plus one? I wasn't even interested in that. I'm just looking at the screen now while they're taking the time. Didn't think we were plus one. We're trying to find this position. But we're ready to change at any given time. But this feels like a strong position. Why not give them something to think about and keep hold of it? Whereas we've given them loads of white squares. Oh, yeah, look, risk averse. So we can take the pawn here. He can take this pawn. He only had two squares to go to. He's got one square to go to there. Maybe there's more pressure I can put on. Can't go here because his bishop's there. Can bring the queen all the way back defending. If we let him take that pawn, rook comes here. So if we take, he takes with a check, bring the rook across. So he can't go straight back. He could go here. He can go all the way back. He can go there. It's not going to go there could go here so he's got three spots to go to gonna take the pawn and then attack the queen he's got three spots to go to they didn't look too dangerous to me so this is why we decided to break our hold on this strong position as far as I'm concerned anyway One, two, or three. Oh, sorry, this one as well. So that's four, actually. Okay, so he's gone to this one here, which is... Okay, we can bring the rook back now, but then we could suffer the wrath of the exchanges. But the thing is, 
once we go here if he does come back again we just tie the king here but the problem we do have with that is that this bishop has got the white square control so we probably want to stay away from that and maybe change our idea to attacking this area if we can how can we get into there let's attack this queen as we've seen they're a bit risk averse so maybe once they've got a pawn back or something then they'll probably take the queen so it looks like they're fighting to try and get an, an extra pawn so where can he go not going here oh my god they've taken right let's grab so this rook is holding itself oh what's he done taking the pawn the pawn have been defending forever. Right, that's it now. He's declared war. Yeah, this poor rook is just sat there defending this pawn. He's going to have to blast it down at some point. I think if we get this across here, this rook is still defending that area. Let's just go with the basics and try and just keep that pressure on this pawn thinking of bringing the knight here good shot with the bishop there totally fell asleep with that one so focused on getting the queen off the board i didn't realize so we've got things on dark squares he's attacking the knight he looks like he's getting a little bit fed up doesn't he yeah. so if we attack the rook then he attacks us this is where the knight gets trapped isn't it so I'm best off coming and attacking the bishop here because the knight wouldn't have anywhere to go. It's feeling really good now. I've, I want them to pay the price for this. Let's go here, attacking the pawn again. All these pawns are going to... Ooh, are they going to win? Dun, dun. I'm going to push this pawn. Been singularly with the strategy trying to just focus on this area. Knight's defending the pawn. Push again. He's got a 2 on 1 with the bishop and the rook. Somehow, I think these pawns are going to. So a pretty tense game, quite interesting. Opponent's give the, giving his, uh, so he's attacking, oh, and he's got the pawn at the back. But we can bring the knight here and defend the pawn if we want him to. If we're wanting to push here like we were planning, he doesn't have to take, he can just push down, because if he does take, Rook takes, then Bishop takes. We're on a white square again though, I've got to be careful because he's just going to come here. And then we can't defend the pawn. I have to bring this Rook up. On a white square though, terrible, terrible, terrible. Can't do that just yet, he's on our knight. <laughs> Okay, let's defend and he's then going to attack this pawn, the white pawn. Oh, and then these pawns are going to come flying down. This is not looking too tasty. Could take this pawn and then he takes that pawn. Takes this pawn, takes that pawn. Yeah, so if we take here, his rook takes. We come up and attack the rook. take let's attack the rook oh, this white square bishop's bothering me but thankfully it's blocked at the moment let's move up rook comes to defend don't it ah, I didn't spot that did I So 
we do when that happens. Rook comes to defend. If we take, then he takes. Then we can't defend the pawn. So I don't think we're going to take. We'll have to just sit and wait. If he does that, we could take this pawn. Then if he takes this rook, then we come back and take his rook. Right, that's enough calculation for now. I don't know what they're going to do. Hmm, very interesting game indeed. taken what's what's the tactic thing it's coming for this the only weakness I, I think he's just going to attack this and then we're held to ransom holding this pawn or he might attack the knight because behind the knight is the pawn but we are protecting the pawn here yeah so he's attacking don't do the knee-jerk reaction, there might be something better. Knight could come here attacking the rook, also defending the pawn. Obviously he's not going to wear that, so he's going to attack the knight because the knight's got no protection. We can't push this pawn, so we'd have to bring the rook here, supporting the knight. But that's not good because it's an x-ray through, isn't it? So his king can come across, da 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 and get the knight off the board so we don't want to do that so we may as well go with the don't like the idea because it's on this white square bishop's just going to do a cheapy and probably start getting oh for <sighs> can you believe it Let's push the pawn. The same thing I was talking about with the knight happening here, they've just done. Because I can't take because his rook's just going to take us. Now they're on fire. Unbelievable. And he's doing the same thing with the. Oh, look, no wonder the move's so fast just then. I move my rook up, pushes the pawn down. It's bishops on the um, knight. Imagine the knight can take, can't it? Oh, dear me. I need to watch myself here. Now they're plus one. Ugh. Shocking. It's coming down for a check on the king. And coming round for the pawn here. We hit the pawn, he still comes down, puts a check on the king, bishop comes up, puts a check on the king, come round here. Ah, shocking push. Puts the check on the king, king moves. Just push, see what happens. Thank you very much. Get it onto a dark square. Now the king's going to get involved. Get time to move this knight, attacking the rook. White square bishop, attack the rook. Might have been a blessing in disguise that bishop move that they did. That was shocking. Wow. Great placement of that. Whew. I'm huffing because I think it's done now. 
got a fork on both pieces. I suppose the bishop could come here just to kind of delay the process. Chess is a funny game. Well, we might forget ourselves, might we? Just take. These might be delayed tactics now. Yeah, chess is such a, it's it's a wonderful game. It really is because ups and downs in the game, the, the stamina that you need and that the character that you need to sort of build. You know, one minute you you feel like you're winning, next minute you you're losing, then you're winning, then it's like a draw, and then it's like squeezing blood out of a stone stone and then you see magical moves from your opponent and then and yeah so they're going for let's just take this off the board and let's bring the rook across so it's brilliant it's just a brilliant exercise Just attack the bishop. So it'll move and it'll get the queen, but we'll get the bishop and then we can get this one promoted. He's not moved it. Okay. Oh, it's going for something a bit different. Let's go here. Let's go and take a pawn off. Oh, that was special, wasn't it? We'll get a check on there. We should have just taken the pawn. Not that it would have made much difference. It's just delaying the inevitable. Can't come across. Let's put a check here. Got to watch for any stalemates now. You do all this hard work and then it's... It's going to be hiding in a corner somewhere. Let's bring it down here with a check. Closing down his little cubby hole of defense. Might be a bit arty, but I'm trying to avoid any stalemate stuff, and with him hiding behind all these. It's just they're uh, not making my job that easy. So, it's just like in this little area here. Let's get him away from there somehow. Plenty of time. Yes, let's get you out of there. And that's job done. Nice game, ups and downs of chess.